Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac and today in my physics class, I'll be taking you through the general properties of matter. We already know that matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. So that already takes us to one property of matter, which is inertia so, or mass. So matter has mass or it exhibits uh, inertia. What is inertia? Inertia is the reluctance of a body to move if it's already at rest. Or the refusal, the reluctance of a body to stop moving if it's already in motion. Inertia is due to mass of a body. Taking us to the uh, Newton's first law, which is still states that a body at rest will continue to be at rest. And if it is in motion, we continue to be in motion unless it's acted upon by a force. You see? So, first law of motion is also regarded as the law of inertia. So, that is one property of matter. It has mass. It has inertia. What else? Matter is made up of tiny particles. And these particles could be molecules or atom. Molecule is simply the smallest particle of a substance that can exist on its own and uh, have the properties of that substance. Meanwhile, atom is the smallest particle of an element that can take part in chemical reaction. Remember, uh, substances can either be pure or impure. Pure substances are called elements because elements they have only one type of atom they have only one type of atom why impure substances can either be compounds or mixture compounds contain two or more elements chemically combined example sodium chloride they are combined chemically and you can, separating them is very difficult or impossible. You can't separate them by an ordinary chemical means. Meanwhile, mixture contains two or more elements physically combined. For example, uh, sand, uh, sand and gari. When you mix them together, it's a mixture. You can separate them. Okay? Uh, water and oil. You can separate them. Then separation of uh, crude oil. You see kerosene, fuel, diesel, coal, other parts. They can be separated. Those are mixture. And even air. It's a mixture. Air contains a lot of mixture. Blood is a mixture. You see? So those are impure substances. Now, an uh, atom can, it has its own properties. It has some particles. So the sub particles of atom are proton, neutron, and electron. Proton is positively charged and is inside the nucleus because atoms have nucleus and it has outer shape. The electron revolves in the outer shape while the proton and neutron are inside. Electron is negatively charged. Proton is positively charged and neutron doesn't have charge. It is neutral. So, uh, atoms maintain neutrality because the charge of electron and that of proton, they are equal but opposite. In that case, they cancel out, making the atom to be electrically neutral. So, um, these are uh, one of the properties of matter. Another property of matter is that matter exhibits pressure because it exists in different states, in solid, liquid, and gas. So, when you compress gas, you see pressure in gases, taking you to uh, gas laws, Boyle's law, Charles law, general gas law. In fact, there is a, a gas law which says that the pressure of a fixed mass of gas is proportional to its temperature. So as temperature increases, pressure actually increases. You get? So um, these are properties of matter. So let's think, what are other properties of matter? Matter exists in different states. It can be solid, liquid, or gaseous state. Now, what's the difference between solid, liquid, and gas? In solid, 
the force between the molecule is tightly packed, is compact. Like I explained, uh, Brownian motion and uh, kinetic theory of matter. So, if the force between them, the molecule, are tightly packed. This makes solids to have definite shape and definite volume. If I give you a bus, we can calculate the volume easily. Meanwhile, the force of attraction in liquid, the particles are loose compared to solid. So, uh, liquids, they don't have volume on their own. They, they have volume. Liquids have volume, but they don't have shape. They take the shape of the container. If I have this can, and I pour water on it, the water will take the shape of this can. Okay? It will take that shape. Meanwhile, for gases, the force between the, the molecules, the force of attraction between the molecules is very loose. It's so loose. And they don't have a, a definite shape. And yes, the gases can be compressed. So, so those are the properties of uh, gas, solid, and liquid. So taking a look at this, we've to an extent covered the general properties of matter. So there's also a belief that matter can exist as particles and it can exist as wave, which is particle nature of matter and wave nature of matter. Hope you found this interesting. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos.